Hey, Fit Fam, we're back here with Laura Benisaki, and today we're on part four of five. This became a massive series, but <laughs> honestly, I've gotten so many people messaging me on the side and just saying that this video was amazing and that they can relate to it and then the impact that it makes on their life moving forward. And so today we're going to continue on with this 12-step program and where we left off was step six. And guys, I'm Coach RJ of FitClub.Fit with Laura Benisaki. She's one of our most amazing members. Mm -hmm. So step six, Laura, is we're entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. So mm -hmm. explain that to us. So in your steps and, and throughout the steps, you find certain things, and, and especially in step four and five, you realize uh, a lot of your defects of character. And so those in the next coming steps and, and in your journey, really they, different things will, will um, come up at, at different times when you're ready to work on them. So different defects to, to be able to, as you're ready to let go, um, are able to just kind of release at, at that, that point in time and, and you, you're ready to start working on them. So it'd be like somebody that is really ready to dive into their fitness journey. So we've got a belly burn coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. And let's say somebody is like, hey, I got to do this all out. Otherwise, it's not going to work at all for me. So somebody like that is a person that looks into their cupboards and says, why do I have this half-eaten bag of chips? Right. Why in the fridge do I have this half-eaten haagen dazs ice cream? Mm -hmm. Why do I have all these candies left over from last Halloween? And why are all these things in here that I definitely don't need to eat? They didn't cost me a ton of money. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take all this boxed crap, all this candy, I'm going to throw it in a bag, and I'm either A, going to throw, throw it away, or if it's still edible and new, mm -hmm. then maybe they can donate it. So what right. they're doing is they're going in there and they're purging all these like unhealthy foods. The trigger foods. The yeah. trigger foods that are going to create problems for them that if it's not present in the house, mm -hmm. then out of sight, out of out mind, mind, you remove temptation. Absolutely. But I also think that how this relates to step, step six, where we're entirely ready to have God remove all these defects, is like actually you know, reaching out to someone like us at Fit Club and just say like, hey, I just want to get started. Mm -hmm. Can you guide me? Or if you're already in this journey and you've been working out, such as somebody that's been a member maybe for a month or two months or however long, and they're like, okay, you know, I'm ready to tackle nutrition. Right. Maybe they hire a coach or a mentor to be able to guide them so that when these defects do arise, that they've got somebody in their corner that's going to be able to say, hey, listen, this is how we're going to beat this. Let's mm -hmm. beat it together. One of the things I always ask my clients is that they be honest. Because mm -hmm. in the end, I'm going to know. You know, like somebody like myself, I've been doing this for 20 years. I know I seem right. like a young guy, but I started in this industry at a very early age. And I've worked purely with the types of demographics that we have right now. Right? right. So it's like I've seen everything. I've researched everything. And it's not a matter of like, okay, I'm not trying to prove you wrong. But we need no. to figure out why you're going into the cupboards. Why are you restocking your shelves with the ice cream? Why is it that you feel on a Friday night after you've had a long day that you need to go in there and, and eat a bag of Twizzlers? Right, and being rigorously honest so that you can find different ways to deal with different coping mechanisms mm -hmm. that are healthier coping mechanisms right. for you. Um, and for me, when I first walked into the gym, it was getting into that routine mm -hmm. and forming a habit of working out and then came the nutrition and and slowly more and more things come up but if I'm honest with somebody about them then you can give me ways to to help me exactly. otherwise I'm just going to stay in that same cycle. I also find it's great to being in the environment like we have a mm -hmm. belly burn challenge right now and I kind of put people together based on like when they work out their types of personality mm -hmm. also people that I would think that they would form long lasting bonds with right and i find that the best advice actually comes from other members mm -hmm. like i have 10 tips on one topic but there's that 11th tip that i didn't even know about that laura put in the group because somebody asked hey how do you do this and i'm mm -hmm. like boom like that gives me an 11 but now you've just i've just added another 
you know, weapon to this person's defense so that when they do get triggered or something happens along the way, they've just like learned this next best thing. And it's like, that one actually works better for them than my other 10 ideas. Right. And sometimes it's just knowing that you're not alone in it mm -hmm. and that somebody else has those same struggles. Okay, so step seven, it says humbly asked him to remove all shortcomings. Right, so, um, you know, when that pertains to uh, my alcoholism or to um, my fitness journey, basically just um, what are the things that are holding me back from moving forward, living a better life, living a healthier lifestyle, and really just, you know, as, those, as we're ready to let go of those things, they come kind of naturally mm -hmm. as we're ready to let go of them. Mm -hmm. Um, and some things need to be natural and need to be forced and people need to want to let go because mm. some of those things we hold on to mm. as um, kind of like a security blanket, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So we really need to be ready to, to do things to be able to get to the point that we need to get to. So number six is almost like you got to be real with yourself. And then number Absolutely. seven, they're saying you've got to be real with God and say, okay, I'm ready for this. Right. So in our case, it could be, okay, you have to realize I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. I have these issues, you know, I like to eat these things and I know where they all lead up to and just say, okay, like this is a media problem. And then you go to your coach or in this case, you go to God in step seven and you're like, okay, these are my problems. Can we work on them? Right. Now we're going to move on to step eight, which is you made a list of all persons we had harmed and become willing to be, make amends to them all. Right. So as that pertains to my uh, recovery, um, there was a lot of things that I did in my um, in the problem is what I call it <laughs> in 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 my drinking uh, days and 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 a lot of things that I did to hurt others and. Not intentionally, of course, but um, in my actions, whether they be selfish or not, there were things that I needed to make amends for and that I needed to clear before I could move forward and repair those relationships. Um, so maybe, you know, as it pertains to the fitness portion of that, in, in my view, is maybe making amends to myself in, in not um, treating my body the way it needs to be and fueling it the way it needs to be to be able to function in the best way that it can. I always think that we all have the same 24 hours in a day mm -hmm. and some days are extremely busier than the others, mm -hmm. but there's always times that we all have it where we get a break. And even if it's like we're busy 23 hours, but then we get one hour. Mm -hmm. And in that one hour, we can do a lot of damage when it comes to nutrition. Like Absolutely. I can eat 3000 calories in under an hour easily. <laughs> right. And then yeah. we're like, well, why am I gaining weight? Well, it's like, well, what about that one hour where you were so stressed because you were so busy that day that you just pummeled everything that in front of you. And like, I, I see it on people's Instagram all the time, like mm -hmm. a charcuterie board, you know, a charcuterie board. And even if you don't have the booze, okay. Mm -hmm. If you were to just have you know, like eight pieces of cheese with the, with the sausages, all the different and the crackers and mm -hmm. the dips and all this kind of stuff. Like, and you just mingle for an hour unconsciously at a work event. Like you can easily put down 22 to 5,000 calories. And I know this easily. because I remember working with a very socialite uh, person that had these women's nights. Like they had these wine, wine and cheese nights every single week, book club. Mm -hmm. Right. And these book clubs are like, you know, I eat pretty good and this and that. I was like, well, tell me about your weekends. How do your weekends go? And I was like, can you just like give me a rough estimate? Like, let's go into my fitness pal and let's just start tracking some of the things that you're eating at these, these 5,500 calories. <laughs> and she was shocked. She was floored. Right. And you got to remember that it only takes 500 caloric def or surplus to gain one pound of weight. So if you're doing 5,000 that day and then you know, you eat regular calories throughout the rest of the week where you're not starving, you're basically zeroing out your, right. your deficit, right? In the end, like if you make $5,000, you know, a month and mm -hmm. you go and spend $5,000 on a Louis Vuitton bag and you're like, well, I still got to pay for my utilities. I said like with money, we're a little bit more cautious, not everybody. Right. Cause then that's when we go into the credit card, right. which I think the credit card is like your body fat storage. Right. So when you've already eaten and already eaten the food that you've already burned, well, where's this extra food going to go to? Right. It's going to go into debt. Mm -hmm. Debt to me is fat, okay. right? And so when it comes to making this list, I always ask people, and especially people that 
haven't had as successful belly burn challenges mm -hmm. leading into the challenges like okay well what obstacles are we going to face so like right now we're into the summer challenge and right. what obstacles are we going to face in the challenge well i already know we've got four birthdays including mine and my wife's you right. know so we've got all these parties we got all these outings we've got a 1000 tonight where i know they ordered 10 pizzas we got a 1000 <laughs> in 2 weeks where i know they're going to order another 10 pizzas right and so we have to create lists right and this is like the list of the people that we harm well in the case of nutrition and fitness we need to make lists of things that are going to do these 5000 calorie nights the right. wine and cheese night right so we have to prepare for it and so one of the ways that i like to work it and with the summer challenge i created what's called the 100 the list 100. Right. We have 100 different challenges that you got to complete over the course of 28 days. <laughs> and I've got a lot of go-getters in this list. So right. we had to make them so that it's impossible for you to do them all in one day. Right. And why? Because for other people, they need the distraction, right? right. Because we all have the same 24 hours. I would say I'm super busy, mm -hmm. okay? And I would, didn't say I'm more busier than anybody else, but I know how my day looks. And I know just before you guys got here for the filming, mm -hmm. I ate like, a thousand calories because I know I'm going to have a busy day and I'm not an eater. So okay. imagine somebody that's an eater and they got even just 30 minutes to eat. It's nonstop, right? right? And I'm not saying that's what everybody does, but we also understand that these types of things are going to happen. And the more that we can be aware of it, mm -hmm. then the more likely we're going to overcome for right. when that situation comes up. Like you get your driver's test. They don't just put you on the road and have you figure it out. You got to read books. You got to do online mm -hmm. courses. You got to, you know, got to meet with people. You got to get a driver instructor. Like there's a step by step to just driving. We're like, but it's just driving. Right. It's just eating. It's just fitness. It's just, you know, alcohol. It's, it's anything. Like you need to mm -hmm. create a system for success in order for you to be long term successful. And so Absolutely. I love the fact that you create these lists of the peaceful people that you've harmed. In the case of our fitness followers, we need to create a list of obstacles or triggers that are going to happen. And even if it's just a short term, like you'll realize in 28 days, mm -hmm. you'll probably have 28 things that are going to trigger you to eat. Right. And so if you have that list down and you're like, oh yeah, number four, right? Mm -hmm. Here's what I was, what I was going to do instead. You know, instead of going out to eat, uh, you know, let's say like I have this birthday party. So two things, either A, I create a caloric, like, I'm leaving a thousand calories for them. I'm going to assume it's all carbs, right. right? So the rest of the day I get 1500 calories. I'm eating 500 calories of just protein and vegetables. And then I'm leaving a thousand right. calories allowance for carbohydrates, right? Right. It's literally that easy. And like the people mm -hmm. that do the belly burns know what I'm talking about. Yes. For other people, it could be that you just have two or three protein shakes before you go to your family, friend's birthday party. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Eat whatever you want at that birthday party. But as long as you at least did some type of preparation, then your you do this over and over again that'll prevent you from gaining five pounds over the next five years right and that one pound a year is a significant gain because now if we create other methods of success for you then instead of gaining the average eight to ten pounds like everybody's doing right now after they turn 40 you know <laughs> what i mean we yeah. actually go minus right right so now you're like actually i lost a pound this year mm -hmm. and you're like nice. because you could be up five right and it's not that hard it isn't. It really isn't. <laughs> it's not that hard. Even I'm aware of it. You mm -hmm. know, like if I decrease my activity, then I'm like, I got to decrease my food. But not a lot of people have that correlation between the two. Right. Right. And you don't right. have to have like, I have to, I have to burn what I eat mentality. But at the right. same time, you got to make what you spend. Right. <laughs> right. You and if people you understood do. that simple concept of food and budgeting, I don't think anybody would have any weight gain issues or have any money issues. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. It, it's very simple the way you put it, to be honest. <laughs> so today, Laura, we went over step seven, where we humbly asked him to remove our shortcomings, where it's more so becoming aware of yourself and telling yourself like, hey, I have these triggers, I have these problems, and I need to make a change. Right. Whereas step eight is now we're creating a list of people that we have harmed in the past mm -hmm. or creating a list in the fitness industry. So when it comes to your weight loss or gaining muscle, whatever the journey is, we create a list of potential triggers and problems that we're gonna face even just for a short period of time, like 28 days. Right. And this way we have the cheat sheet, right? And so exactly. guys, we wanna challenge you to create your cheat sheet moving forward. And we're gonna get onto this next video, which is gonna be step nine and step 10. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Make sure you give the video a like, throw a comment in the section on the list 
that you're going to be created. And we'll see you on the next video.